Sarata Crafts is the name of a group of craftswomen living in the rural areas of Bolivia and the poor neighborhoods of the capital, La Paz. They have great skills and the ability to work together to help one another and their own families and to show off their skills to a wider world. Mostrar así sus habilidades al mundo, a los a las personas de más. Poco a poco nos hemos ido viendo que little by little we've seen the kind of crafts that we can produce together, and we've developed new ideas and crafts to create more employment for them. It also helps build their self-esteem, as many of them were not able to go to school. En su autoestima, porque muchos no han podido estudiar, entonces. Sometimes in the family situation, the men feel superior. Maybe they had studied, and so the women can feel inferior. But since developing these skills, all they need are the materials to work with and a market in which to sell their products. Many of them have seen their skills flourish, providing help for their families and for themselves. Maybe it's more than just a business. We began with the intention of changing the lives of the people with whom we are working. I'm also providing an income for myself and my family by embroidering. I contribute something and that makes me feel happy. I believe that work is the best thing we can do in life. I'm embroidering a fishing scene. Here I'm making the net, a man and a woman. And here's the man who's taking out the little boat. In this picture, I'm portraying the poverty of my village. It seems very unjust to me that in many places, villages, settlements, where there are peasants, there isn't a gas supply. Gas improves things enormously. It makes it easier to cook, and when it's nighttime and we need a light, we wouldn't have to use kerosene lamps, which are very dangerous. Here we are sowing little llamas, now he's on his way with his little llama. A husband and his wife are traveling with their bags. For example, if I've seen people fishing or just crossing a lake in a boat, I want to express it, and it should be represented as realistically as possible. This work has helped me a lot. It's art, an expression of something inside. What we do through these pictures is to show the legends and the culture of Bolivia, since people from elsewhere don't know or haven't experienced what our people have, the natural landscapes, the lakes, the mountains. Even though I live in Bolivia, I was astonished the first time I saw the mountains. I felt like an ant, and I saw that our land is really beautiful. It is very nice, and we want to express all these feelings. So we do it through this kind of embroidery, expressing everything we have seen. Women working is the theme. I made this scene because I like to travel. And I have seen how women, especially in the rural areas, don't have any work or money, but they get by with their livestock. I have seen how they shear their sheep and wash the wool, and then use natural dyes. As they're natural colours, natural dyes, they have tones that go together well. Because they aren't very vivid tones, they combine easily. 
There's a tradition of changing color little by little from the dark purple through to a medium purple and then into a softer one. And on the other side, it goes back to darker colors again. Travelling in a lorry and looking at the countryside around Sarata, the mountains look just like a bedspread with different variations of green. One of the natural dyes that gives us many tones is cochineal, which is a natural dye. It's not a plant, it's a little insect. Purples, lilacs, reds, oranges, pinks, all these colors can be extracted from cochineal just by changing the other ingredients we mix it with. I feel proud and that's what I want to show. Women can do anything. Every woman has her strength. Women demonstrate that with dexterity, maybe they can embroider or paint or sew anything. I know what women can do. In fact, all of our craftspeople are artists working on fabric. I see this as something that could be replicated in many other places. So we work together, we will use our skills and our individual strengths to help ourselves out of poverty. It could be a good example for many people to be able to see such a positive step forward and peace in the world. It's what we're all looking for.